Who you are is more important than what you are. And I'll say that again. Who you are is more important than what you are. Leadership is not about the title one holds, but the, life, the lives one touches. I heard these words on my radio on Sunday morning about 30 years ago. I was listening to a talk radio show and didn't expect a life-changing moment. But from the moment forward, I made a choice to live my life in service to others. I could be more than a job description or a job title. I could be someone who made an impact on my community and on the lives of my neighbors. So I'm going to tell you about a personal story about a dear friend and a neighbor. His name was Art. And he came back from dialysis one day and he couldn't get out of the car. I tried to help along with another neighbor. We couldn't, we couldn't get him out. We were unsuccessful. His wife called 911. It took 21 minutes for the Mount Juliet Fire Department to respond. They came and they took care of Art, got him out of the car, got him in the house. And I had an opportunity to talk to some of the firefighters who came. I said, what took so long? We got another call across the town. They said, we don't have enough firefighters on duty. A city of 40,000, Mount Juliet, had only 21 firefighters on duty to cover the, the emerging needs of the community. That is when I decided I was, action was needed. So I did my research, started attending the city commission meetings to share what I found. The bottom line is the city decided the commissioners decided at that point to hire nine additional firefighters. My wife and I arrived in Tennessee a little over nine years ago. We moved from California where I started my role as an AARP volunteer. Fortunately, I was able to continue my role as a volunteer here in Tennessee. Ultimately, as you heard on the video, I became the volunteer director for the middle division of AARP Tennessee. That began a seven year run being Stacy's partner, volunteer partner, leading a group of 25 to 30 volunteers. Volunteers with AARP can do as much or as little as they wish. On my end of the equation, I do as much as I can. Just a couple items that I like to make you aware of. This past June, ARP Tennessee, with the help of volunteers and created the idea, had a teletown hall with a focus on elder abuse. June 15th is the annual recognition, uh, international recognition of uh, awareness of elder abuse. We had a large number of our membership on that call that day. Many will be able to ask questions. The last call, the last call is sticks with you. You can't forget it. The person was in tears because she believed her son was conspiring with someone from her bank to steal all of her money. Fortunately, um, our guest that day was the executive director of the Tennessee Commission on Aging and Disability, who said he would follow up directly with her. We were able to, have, because of the, of the way we did the phone calls, we had her number. So we passed it on so that, that he could call her directly and find out the issue and help her in this, with a response. Now I must tell you about Disrupt Aging Classroom. It's a program out of the AARP National Office. It's a two hour interactive curriculum that challenges, challenges college students to examine their perceptions of aging and think about how the growing aging population is relevant to their personal lives and future careers. AARP volunteers are trained to be the facilitators for this class at universities. And I want to tell you that I'm very, very pleased and grateful that I've been able to be a facilitator and I will have taught virtually at over 20 universities in the last two years. For working in higher education, thank you. For working in higher education and serving ARP, 
also being a volunteer with Moms Demand Action for Gun Sets in America, the Dell Webb Community, and the Wilson County Outreach and Resilience Program. I have always made a point to put the needs of others first to ensure that people around me feel empowered to make a difference. So why volunteer? Because who you are, how you live your life, means so much more than what you are. It is not for the glory or the recognition. Being a volunteer is helping and empowering others. So I want to thank Age Well, Middle Tennessee, for this honor. I want to express my gratitude to the leadership of AARP, especially my staff partner, Stacy Pennington. Now I want to recognize my greatest support, for which I am so internally grateful. My best friend in the world and wife for over 50 incredible years, Carol. I would like to leave you with a quote and hope that it resonates with your hearts. If not now, then when? If not me, then who? Thank you.